Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can animate counting numbers. So as you can see here, I have this number and if I press play, then you can see that it's kind of counting upwards automatically. I'm not doing anything, only we have this two keyframe. So how we can do this, I'm gonna show you with a bunch of different tricks here as well. So let's just uh, duplicate this one and let's turn this one off and let's just um, delete everything here so I can start from scratch because it's our, these are expressions. Okay, so what you need to do here, let's call this uh, number, number, so we have this 35% here, it doesn't matter. We're going to add a, an animation, no, an effect. Go to expression controls and add a slider control. That's fun. Slider control, all right. So we have this slider here. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of uh, tell this number to look at this slider control so we can control this with this value here. So we're going to open this up and go to our text and then open it up, go to source text and the source text, we're going to uh, option click on this stopwatch to add an expression. So when you're in this expression box, you can type in expressions to make this do whatever you want. We're going to delete this and we're going to select this pick whip here, it's called, and you can um, drag it onto the slider here. So what you're saying right now is that this text needs to take over the value of this slider control. So right now it's, it's rather is at zero. So it, it says zero here. And if you drag this up, you can see that the number is going up, but it's going crazy. So what we need to do is add something to make this just like a nice rounded number. Let's add math with a capital M dot round and then open parentheses and then delete the second one here and put the second, the closing one at the end here. So we have math dot round open parentheses, then the pick whip uh, expression stuff and then the close parentheses at the end and then click away and then it's done. So now if I drag the slider here, you can see that it's counting up to 100. So that looks cool, this is working, and you can just, uh, if you click on the slider, on the stopwatch here, click, and you start at zero, and then go here, and then go to, let's say, uh, 40, and then you can hit U, and you can see the keyframes, and then it's just counting upwards there. You can add an uh, easing to this, whatever you like. So that's how you create a really basic counting number up. But um, let's say I want to have a percentage behind this or um, maybe a euro or a dollar sign on the front here. So I'm going to open the expression again. If you select the layer and double press E on your keyboard, so EE, -E, it opens the expression box. So at the front here, I'm going to add a quotation mark and then press the dollar and then dollar sign, uh, quotation mark again, and then uh, plus. So what this is going to do is telling this layer is I want you to show the dollar mark first, dollar sign first, uh, plus the expression which we just created, like the value from this number. So it just adds this dollar um, sign at the front here. So and you can do uh, whatever you uh, want so over a euro, boom, done. Uh, or you can delete this and at the end here do the same thing. So let's say you want this whole thing to show the value of the slider, plus at the end, so plus quotation marks, uh, the percentage sign and then it adds your and then it adds the second one here uh, by itself so uh, put the value in between quotation marks and then boom you have this percentage behind it so another cool trick i want to show you is if you want to have like 40,35 percent or something or 40,1 or 50,6 whatever we have we don't want to add some decimals so i'm going to just for this keep it overview, delete the percentage here, and need to delete the math.round here, um, because we don't want this math.round, we want to, uh, you know, kind of have these two, one or two decimals, whatever. So we're gonna delete that, delete the parentheses here, or that, uh, yeah, and here as well. And what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to type dot value, dot to fixed, and make sure that the F is a capital letter, and then in uh, uh, in parentheses, uh, so parenthesize a number. So I'm going to go to one, uh, like that, click. And there you have, if you turn the slider up, it's going to count from uh, 49, let's say 40,0 until uh, 49,9. And then if you go one step further, it's going to go to 50. So uh, that's how you can add a decimal. Or you can say, let's make this number two. So you add two decimal points here. Uh, it's counting up and the only thing what I'm going to change right now as well what you can also do is if you're uh, like at a round number let's say 10 you don't want it to show 10.00 you want it to uh, be 10 and only if it's 
10,96, I don't know. Um, then you want it to have two decimals, but only when it's uh, at a round number, you want this to delete. Just only see 10. If you want that, you need to select this dot value to fixed and um, hit command X to delete that. And then go to your slider control. So I'm going to open this up because now the expressions are on my source text here. But if you open the slider control in the effects here, there you go. And just delete all these keyframes. And then I'm going to option click on the stopwatch to add a new expression. And then behind this stuff here, I'm going to paste that dot value dot two fixed and then number two. So right now, if I do this and I put this at 10, you can see that the decimal point will disappear. And if I put it at 10,73, then boom, we have 10,73. So uh, that's a really easy way of uh, making these counting numbers uh, do it automatically for you with the use of some simple expressions. Uh, I have these expressions in the um, description box down below. And one other thing I would like to add is that if you have this stroke here, we have this white stroke, uh, and I can uh, make that stroke uh, go along with this number. So if I uh, have the stroke and I add, uh, go open it up and go to add and go add a trim paths effect. Uh, trim paths, what this does is it will show or not show the stroke as you can see here. So at the top here is 100% and if I drag the end down to zero, it will start at zero. So what I can do, if I, if I can just select this number here, slider control, and if I just select, click this button here, this toggle viewer lock, then it just stays there uh, if I click away. So, and then go to your end here and then drag this uh, pick whip over to the slider control, to this here, the slider, and then boom. Right now, if you uh, change the slider, you can see that the number is changing along with it but just be uh, keep in mind that you can only go to 100 because trim paths works from uh, 0 to 100 so if you go over that it doesn't work anymore but uh, all between 0 and 100 works so you can get this nice loading bar if you would like to download this uh, project file so you can just look for yourself and see what's in here and uh, copy the, the things and everything you can do that by supporting us on patreon uh, when you support us there uh, you support the channel so we can make even cooler things and you can also download the project files and get a whole bunch of other perks there so just look us up on patreon it's in the description box down below as well thank you guys for watching this video and i hope to see you on the next one thank you bye bye